Hello everyone, welcome to Genius Tech. My name is Steven. I want to use this medium to appreciate um, my subscribers. Thank you so much for taking your time um, to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for the likes. Thank you so much for the comments as well. I am so, so grateful. Thank you so much for taking your time as well to share uh, my video to your, to your loved ones. I'm grateful. I'm thank you so much. And I want to use this medium as well to wish all my subscribers um, Happy New Year. Um, you know, thank you so much for your support um, last year. Thank you so much, um, you know, for subscribing to my channel. So, and I know um, you, are, you guys, you are going to support me more this new year. So, um, okay, without any further ado, what, what are we going to be doing today? So, today I'm going to be um, showing us how you can create a blog website with Golang, React, and Tailwind. Yes, I'm going to be showing you how you can create Go uh, how you can create a blog um, website with Golang. We are going to use Golang um, to develop the backend, and we are going to be using my SQL as our database as well. So um, at the front end, we are going to be using React and Tailwind. So that is what we are going to be doing in this tutorial. So, um, okay, you know, uh, as I usually do on this channel, before I start a project, I would love to show us, um, you know, the finished project so that you can be able to decide if it's something you are going to be interested, uh, you know, that, that you are going to love to learn. So I, I always like to show us what the project is all about first before I, you know, before we dive in and get our hands dirty uh, into um, our code editor. So um, what is, this is the first video. So this video is just all about the, what the project is all about, the project overview. So what we are going to be creating, what we are going to be building. So that is what um, um, this project is all about all right okay so um let's go into our browser now so i've deployed the uh, blog to netlify so the back end uh, i mean the um yeah the back end is hosted on heroku so and i'm going to be showing us how you can deploy your website as well the front end to netlify and how you can de uh, deploy the back end to heroku so these are the things you are going to be learning in this video so as you can see on your screen so i've already deployed the project um goland-alt-demo.netlify.com app dot slash login so this is the login page as a user so let's just assume that we, we don't have an account so you can just come here and click on this sign up so as you can see these are signed up page so let me quickly um, uh, sign up here so let me say john doe is the first name john so the last name let's call it doe all right so um let's just call have this uh, email address let's call it john doe don't just do uh at uh, gmail.com all right <clears throat> so here um the password let's just give it um okay all right so and the phone number as well let's put this there so i want to show you um, what we happen now let's say let's for example this email um is not the correct email let's say uh, maybe the user made a mistake and type um uh, you know john doe at gmail you know this is not a proper email address so once we click on sign up uh, we should be able to get a response. You see, invalid email address. So these are the things I'm going to be teaching you how you can authenticate your user. You know, so invalid email address. So now let's come here. Let's put dot com here. Let's put a valid email address and let's come here into the password. Let's just put um, one two three four. Okay, that's our password. Let's click on sign up and let's see the response we are going to get. You see, the password must be more than six character don't mind my ui this is just a demo anyway so don't mind the color um you know the kind of color i'm trying to use there um this is just a demo so the, the most important thing aspect i really want us to get is the functionality you know how this blog works that is the most important that's what i really want us to focus on all right so let's put a password that is more than six now one two three four five six seven all right so let's see if the system is going to log us in so let me click on sign up you know, it's loading now okay wow so i was you see we have a response there saying you have successfully registered that is snack bar there i'm going to be explaining to us to how you can make use of snack bar in react all right let me save this so let's try to log in now and let's see if the system is going to log us in yes because our password is correct um the system is going to log us in so here is a landing page the home page it said hi john do welcome to my website all right so here yeah, you can create a post you can view uh you can view your own personal post and you can create your own personal post so any post you create 
you know, you are going to see all of those posts here. So these are all the posts that have been created by different users. So this is uh, the user that has created this post here. Um, these, some of the images are broken and I'm going to explain once we start the tutorial why some of these images are broken. Okay, so here is another user as well. So let's click on view my posts now. Let's click on that, view my posts. Uh, okay, you don't have a post yet, can you create a post, which is correct. We don't have any post yet, so we have to create a post. Alright, so how are we going to make that happen? So we have to come here, let's click on create post. Okay, so now we have to create a post. So let's come here, let's type uh, my, let's call it John Doe post. Okay, John Doe, uh, let's call it John Doe post. Alright, so we can upload an image as well. And I'm going to be showing us how you can upload image as well. So let's click on these. Now let's find uh, just a rough image here. Um, which image can I use here? Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, let me click on this image here. This is Jesus, a random image. So let, you have to click on this upload image. All right, so image uploaded successfully. Our image has been uploaded successfully. So let's come here, let's put a description here. Let's say, uh, my name um, is John Doe, okay? So my name is John Doe, um, my name is John Doe, okay? Uh, let's just put something random there or better still we can even come here and get a um you know a, a lorem um text so you can just copy that quickly and paste it in our description um quickly so let me just come here let me just copy this text here all right so let me paste this in our description here all right so once everything is done and mind you if you don't okay let me let me clear this first so you see if, when you click on create post it's telling you please fill out this feed so we have we need to validate with i'm going to teach you as well how you can validate your form too so what i use in this validating this form i use um react hooks so i'm um, react form hooks rather react form hooks so i'm going to be showing you how you can make use of react form hooks as well so okay let's come back here and let's uh put our text back here and let's click on create post so uh you can see now it's loading now so if everything works fine, we should get a response that our post has been created. Fine. Okay, our post has been created. So, uh, okay, uh, that is an issue with that URL. It's supposed to take us to the home page. All right. It's supposed to take us to this home page. So let's look at that. Our new post. So as you can see, these are our new posts. John Doe post. This is our new post that we just created. So the post is showing here together with the image. So um, you can click on it to view, um, you know, the 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 post in details or your descriptions and all those things. I'm going to be showing you how you can do this. So let's go back home. Okay. So um, let's come back here. You can now view my post. Let's click on view my post. So that is you can now view every post related to you. So you can delete that post if you want to delete it and you can edit it as well. Okay, let me show us these uh, two functions. Um, now, let, let, me, let me click on the edits. So here, we are back again to our edits. We have John Doe post. We have, um, it is, you know, this is the description. So let's just come here and let me uh, type new John Doe post. And let me up update the post now. Okay, uh, let me update the post. All right. So post updated successfully. You can see now new John Doe post. So the, the post has been updated successfully. So we can delete the post as well. Let me come here and click it on delete button. So uh, you see, you don't have posts yet. Can you create a post because the post have been deleted. So guys, this is what you are going to be learning um in this course if you are excited about this project kindly hit the like button and let me know too in the comment section if you are very excited if you are ready willing to learn um this project so just hit the um the like button and don't forget as well to comment as well don't forget to also subscribe to my youtube channel please guys just to um you know um encourage me just to you know um to help this channel to create better content like this so kindly uh, hit the subscribe button so guys this is what we are going to be creating 
in this tutorial. So we are going to be creating a blog. So we'll first start with the back end, the Golang. So once we are done with the back end, then we are going to move to the front end where we are going to be using React and Tailwind. So I'm going to be showing you how you can connect your um, front end with your back end, how you can deploy your back end to Heroku, and how you can deploy your front end to Netlify. So these are all the things you are going to learn um, in this tutorial. And I'm going to be teaching you as well how you can co connect go your Go um, app to my SQL. So these are the things. I'm going to be showing us in this tutorial. So, guys, um, in my next video, we are, we'll be getting our hands dirty, we'll be setting up our projects. So, but what this video is all about is just to show us um, the overview, the projects we are going to be creating. So, guys, um, so uh, my next video will start uh, get to get our highest dirty, as I've said uh, previously. So, thank you so much for taking your time to watch this video tutorial. I'm seeing your host, see your friends TV. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget as well to hit on the notification button so that anytime I upload my next video, you'll be the first person to get the notification. Thank you so much. See you guys in my next video.